first 90 days of office um, and as a candidate but now as a commissioner I've known that the uh, overcrowding issues the safety issues here at our Pueblo County Jail uh, are certainly of concern um, and I really took uh, a recent incident to heart uh, on March 3rd we had a, um, a rather uh, rather brutal incident with some detention deputies um, that occurred in the jail I think uh, pretty early in the morning hours and so I came out to see uh, and meet with some of the folks during their uh, graveyard shift and I told them that not only is it a concern for um, the situation that these men and women work in every single day uh, but, then we, but that we intended to do something about it. Um, there's certainly been a lot of uh, informal discussion about uh, some of these issues, but I felt uh, it was time to provide some definition and some formality uh, to the issue and uh, to form this task force. Uh, the task force was formed here at the beginning of uh, the beginning of last month. We had our first meeting in March. Uh, we'll meet a total of five times as a task force. The task force is broken down into uh, seven individual subcommittees, uh, including a finance, legal, building, and law enforcement subcommittee to help us look at uh, the entire system, if you will. Uh, from arrest to adjudication, uh, I wanna reiterate that we're not looking at just infrastructure, we're looking at the overall issue and how to address it, uh, whether it be the aspect of mental health, detox, recidivism, pretrial services. Uh, the task force is really, um, our main objective is to look at uh, everything from an entire picture and to utilize our different subcommittees and the people we have on it. Um, to vet every single short and long-term solution. Uh, we have a great, very committed task force of 30 uh, plus folks uh, and it's continuing to grow.